Well, good day, Aunt William Matz. Welcome to today's Living Word. Got a little tickle in my throat today. Please uh, bear with me here as we take a look at the Gospel of Mark, chapter 13, going to look at verses 7 through 9. Jesus is speaking. He says, But when you hear of wars and rumors of wars, do not be troubled, for such things must happen. But the end is not yet. For nation will rise against nation, kingdom against kingdom. There will be earthquakes in various places. There will be famines and troubles. These are the beginning, the beginnings of sorrows. That's our text. And don't miss the word sorrows here. This particular Greek word means a pang or throw associated with childbirth. Now, I've never given birth to a child, but I've witnessed the throes of labor in the delivery room. These pangs increase in frequency and intensity as the woman in labor draws nearer and nearer to giving birth. So Jesus was reminding us here that we will always have wars, earthquakes, famines, and troubles. But with the use of the word sorrows, he reminds us that all these things will increase in frequency and intensity. That means that the fallen world, the world that you and I live in, will experience these various calamities exponentially until he returns. And no wonder he concludes this section in the Gospel of Mark with the one word admonition to watch. Mark 13, 37. And what I say to you, I say to all, watch, watch, observe what's taking place in our world in increasing fashion and be ready for the Lord's soon return. When he returns, let him find you as that obedient servant, trusting his promises and obeying his word. I'm Dwayne Matz, and that's today's Living Word.